But his face... What is happening to me? I hadn't heard from my brother in over three months, which wasn't unusual. Nick tends to disappear for months at a time, not returning my calls, and then he surfaces again as if nothing had happened. I've gotten used to it. I don't blame him, considering the childhood we had. I've read somewhere that siblings with shared traumatic pasts tend to grow apart faster when they're adults. Then. Last night at around 3 a.m., he left a voice message. I heard it when I woke up a few hours later. Maya, I hope you're okay. I... I know I haven't been in touch, but I just wanted to let you know. Uh... You may not hear from me again. For a while. I don't want you to worry, though. I'm in a spot of trouble, but... Nothing I can't handle. I'll figure it out. Whatever you do, don't come looking for me. I'll call you when things are right. I know I haven't said this enough, but I... I do love you. Always have. Goodbye, Maya. I must have called him dozens of times, but there was no answer. And then his phone was switched off. I took the next available flight out early next morning. I didn't sleep a wink on the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. As soon as I landed, I checked into a motel and then took a cab to the last address I had for him. In the pre-dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went, like a thing whose core was growing rotten. I don't know what kind of trouble he's in, but when we were growing up, after Ma died, when it was just the two of us, he'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. And I would save him. I should get this over with quickly. I'll find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Let's see, he should be at apartment 405. I bet this building breaks every municipal code in existence. I could get this open with a hard push, but I really shouldn't be wasting time. I need to find Nick. I should get to apartment 405. Ugh, I should move on. I need to get to apartment 405. Looks like there's a pipe busted up in there. It isn't a good idea to move this scaffold. It looks flimsy. I should just find another way around it. Hello? Huh. 
Where'd they go? There was someone just here. Well, this is it. I should just ring the doorbell, see if he answers. Although, if he's been drinking, I don't have much hope. I guess he's either not home, or he's sleeping off a drunken binge, which would not be entirely surprising. Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. Gosh, what is that smell? Nick? Nick, are- Well, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the wagon again. Oh, Nick. I sometimes think, if he hadn't had that accident, if his best buddy Alex hadn't been killed, things might have turned out different for him. He was 16, driving home from a party, Alex in the passenger seat. Nick had no business being behind the wheel that night. He was drunk out of his mind. Alex was killed on the spot. Nick survived, but he could never forgive himself for Alex's death. With Ma gone, I was supposed to be the parent. Rein him in. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. I guess I neglected him when it mattered. That's on me. There's gotta be a light switch somewhere. How is he living like this? This is terrible. <laughs> right, like this is gonna keep me out. Nick, are you in there? Are you okay? Open this door. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. Would it hurt to clean up a little? I think I just lost my appetite. The first thing I'm going to help him do is clean this place up. That alone should bring some positivity to his life situation. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. What is he doing to himself? Once I find him, I'm gonna have to see about getting him some real food while I'm here. Didn't know he kept this old picture of Ma. This was taken maybe a year before she died? before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones. When Ma got sick, he was eight and I was 15. 
We watched her waste away and die from cancer. We never knew our father. No kid should have to lose both parents so early. We moved in with Aunt Sheba after that. She mostly left us alone, so I had to pretty much raise him. Or at least I tried. I did the best I could, but hell, I was dealing with my own demons. I guess I made a pretty poor substitute for Ma. Looks like he's literally living out of a suitcase at this point. He told me he was making money on a freelance web development gig. Was that all a lie? What's he doing with the money he gets? Why can't he get a bed like a normal person? I remember that shirt. I think I'd given it to him for a birthday. Hello? Nick, are you in there? Quit playing. Jeez. Oh, Hello? Hello? How did this door open? There's gotta be a light switch somewhere. I see his taste in music hasn't changed. All the death metal and occult stuff he was always into. Well, at least I know where all his money's going. But where the hell is he? He used to love these consoles growing up. He'd spend hours locked into those games. I guess it was an escape for him after Ma passed and we were living at Aunt Sheba's. The worst period of our lives. He was such a quiet kid back then. This looks days old. I should check this computer. Maybe it'll give me some clue to what's going on with him. I should turn on this computer. I wonder if he still actually plays. He was obsessed with the guitar for a while in school, formed a band. They weren't all that good. Lasted all of six months. A USB drive? Let me see if I can find one. Random drawer junk. Nothing useful. Nothing useful here. This could be it.
wasn't there before. I'm sure of it. sure that was Nick's photo in there, but that makes no sense. I've got to get this game going again. Ah! 
Jeez, that scared me. <laughs> Just the lights. The electrics here are falling apart like the rest of the building. That was Nick's voice, I'm sure of it. I'm gonna get this PC going again. <sighs> Hello? Is someone there? It's too dark in here. I should get the lights on. I can't leave just yet. Impossible. <laughs> Nick, but his face. What is happening to me?
What the hell was that? <gasps> Nick! Wait! Nick! 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 Nick, stop! It's me! Going near that elevator. What the hell was that? Stop! It's me! Down here. Come quickly. My. I'm waiting for you, Maya. Where are you? We're all waiting. Accident. Alex's death. My miserable life. All of it could have been different. If only you'd done what you were supposed to do. Who are you? 
What have you done to my brother? Sometime later, I found myself back in the apartment. I couldn't remember how I got there. There was no sign of Nick, or the thing that had looked like him. And his computer would no longer turn on. I did the only thing I could. I filed a missing person report and flew home. It's been six months since then. I've tried every possible way to locate him, but... There's been no word from him. I keep thinking about the thing I saw at the bottom of those stairs. The thing from inside the game. When it came at me, just before its awful malevolence could engulf me, something, or someone, stepped between us and shielded me. I think that's how I got away. I think... I think it was Nick who saved me.